I'm reviewing an old book today. I don't even know what I'm going to say about it. I can pretty much remember everything about it. So, it's dusty? Good God! Hello everybody, E here. Welcome to a retro review. I am going to do, with this series, I am going to review books that I read ages ago. Um, I, I went back and I checked my reviews. Uh, also, I'm going to try and keep this to books that... I recall a lot about, so I'm not sitting here going, I think this happened and I think that happened. Oh, uh, today we are talking about The Terror by Dan Simmons. Um, a lot of you requested this one. I don't know if that picked it up or not. Um, pretty bright in here, but yeah. Uh, it really irks me. This is one of my favorite books of all time. It's in my top 20. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it is, but... Uh, it irks me that I only have a paperback copy of this. I have a hardcover edition of uh, The Abominable, which really upsets me because I hated that one and loved this one. I'm a big fan of anything in a cold climate, um, whether that just be, you know, just cold weather, like even out in the desert. Um, but when you add in the snow and the ice and all that stuff, uh, especially in this location, is it the polar polar ice caps? I can't that that part I can't remember. I know it's the Franklin Expedition. Um, yeah, it just says a land of ice and des desolation, but um, I think it's the polar ice caps. I'm probably wrong. Um, I did a lot of reading up on the Franklin Expedition. Um, really, really close to reading this book. Not because I wanted to read this book, just because I was fascinated with it. I even watched a documentary um, on the Discovery Channel about it. Uh, it's a ill-fated expedition. The expedition actually happened, but this is a fictionalized version of events. Kind of like Omokatsu's uh, The Hunger, which ta tackles the Donner Party, or, you know, just about any of the numerous uh, Jack the Ripper stories, like From Hell. Um, it takes a real-life occurrence and twists it and adds a supernatural aspect. The supernatural aspect was probably my favorite part of the book. I love the well-rounded characters, um, especially uh, some of the gay characters, which he showed the two sides of that. He showed a uh, there was a bad gay person, there was a, a good gay person. I, just, I liked the way that he included those characters to where it didn't seem forced. It seemed natural, and especially from a book, you know, the, where the happenings are, you know, in the 18, 1800s, yeah, 1845. I think, yeah, it actually says it on here, on, on, it says it on here, 1845 Franklin Expedition. But, uh, the, the characters were very well drawn, um, especially the main character, the, the captain, whatever his name was. Um, I had, I had a little bit of an issue toward the end um, with some anticlimactic stuff, but when you settle in for a book this long, I think my paperback copy is, yeah, it's almost a thousand pages, it's 953 pages. Um, when you settle into something like that, especially like with Stephen King's It, or even The Stand, you get so far into it and you have, a, you know, a big climactic ending, and then you're just kind of wrapping things up. Unfortunately, with a longer novel, you have a lot of wrap-up. I didn't tick off any stars for that wrap-up there at the end, um, but it is something that I will say that had the only part of the story that gets a little monotonous, gets a little long-winded, is the section and after they leave the ship. So it's pretty much that whole that whole bit right there. I think it actually goes on for two to three hundred pages, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm doing exactly what I said I, w I wasn't gonna do. <laughs> like I normally do, I say one thing and I'm doing another. But hey, these reviews are are pretty uh, natural. Uh, they're exactly natural. Uh, I don't think about it too much before I sit down and do them. It's like you know we're sitting around talking about books. I dig that. Uh, I know a lot of you requested me do this review in particular, um, so I hope this is good enough. Um, if you guys like the idea of the retro reviews, um, or if you would prefer that I reread the book to be more specific about like character names, I'm terrible with character names, um, be more specific with Pacific. Did I say Pacific? I hope not. More specific with character names and details like that. If you'd prefer that in future videos, let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been a retro review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. There's some
there's some doo doo or something on it. It's not doo doo. There's some, it's, but it, it's sketchy material on the on the spine of this book. The men on board the HMS Terror, part of the ill-fated 19, 1845 Franklin expedition, are entering a second summer in the Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle. I said polar ice caps. That was so wrong. I said, I said it didn't tell me, and it tell. Whew. I'm an idiot. Uh, but you guys know that.